the daughter of Pharaoh, who is Batia, came down to bathe in the Nile. And it's known that she came down to bathe herself from the idolatry or the idols of her father's home. So she came down to bathe and use the Nile as a type of mikvah so that she could uh, basically renounce idolatry. So she's now believing in one god. So while her maidens walk along the Nile, she spied the basket among the reeds and sent her slave girl to fetch it. What's very interesting about this is Hateva here is the word that's used for the basket that little baby Moses is uh, floating in. Hateva is the exact same word used for the ark, as in Noah's ark. It's very interesting. It's the same exact word. And in, actually, uh, we remember that the, the ark of Noah was covered in pitch. And... Uh, this is the same type of stuff with uh, bitumen and pitch that Moses' mother used to cover his little teva. So here we have Moses and Noah, both who brought eternal covenants to the world, and both who spent some time floating in a little teva. And it's interesting as well that uh, here we have the woman, Batya, who converts, if you will, to monotheism, to one God. So here we're going to learn a little something about uh, what it was like on the Ark. And we covered in the last video, Eleazar, one of the only people to say Baruch Hashem, or blessed is the Lord in the, last, uh, in the Torah. So the servant of Abraham said to Shem, who is one of Mo uh, Noah's sons, the great son of Noah, it is written, after, all, after their kinds, they emerged from the ark, indicating that the different types of animals were not intermingled while in the ark. Where were you and what did you do to care for them while they were in the ark? And Shem said to him, we experienced great suffering in the ark, caring for the animals. Where there was a creature that one typically feeds during the day, we fed it during the day. And where there was a creature that one typically feeds at night, we fed it at night. With regard to that little chameleon, my father did not know what it eats. One day my father was sitting and peeling a pomegranate. A worm fell from it, and the chameleon ate it. From that point forward, my father would knead bran with water, and when it came overrun with worms, the chameleon ate it. So here we'll tie this all together. It's another source that involves righteous Gentiles, and their relationship with Israel. And Moses went and returned unto Jethro, his father-in-law. Prior to, the, to this, it is written, the Lord saw that he returned to see, and he said, Moses, Moses. So we can see here, Moses' name is repeated in succession. Everyone whose name is repeated in immediate succession experiences life in both worlds. So in this world and in heaven and or in the world to come. So here are the people who, whose name is repeated as such. Noah and Abraham and Jacob and Moses and Samuel and Perez or Perez. However, someone retorted, is it not also written? These are the generations of Terah, who is the father of Abraham. He replied, even he had a portion in both worlds, for our patriarch Abraham was not buried until he was assured that his father Terak had repented. So he did teshuva or repentance for believing in all these idols. For it is said, but you shall go to thy fathers in peace. Abraham said to the Holy One, blessed be he, master of the universe, shall I go to my fathers, though I have stored up good deeds in this world? The Holy One, blessed be he, said, be assured, your father has repented. Hence, his name was repeated. So this is what it takes to get life in this world and in the next. All you have to do is do a 180 degree turn from whatever is uh, holding you back.